Hey, hope everyone's having a good afternoon here. Uh, sorry, I usually get these out earlier in the day, but just uh, things come up and I just want to get them out so people understand. So when it comes to bankruptcy, it's a little bit different than seven, chapter 7 and chapter 13. Let's talk about 13 because it's really, uh, most people think they lump it together with chapter 7 and it's, and it's a little bit different. Uh, usually with chapter 7, you have to have at least two to three years depending on what program that, that you're trying to get to, uh, to, to finance. But basically with chapter 13, you have to have one year inside the chapter 13 of making on-time payments. That's for government loans, okay? Conventional is a little bit different, but I'll get to that for a second. So for an example, let's say you get an FHA loan. You get into chapter 13, it's a five-year payoff period, okay, within our chapter 13. During that time, as you're making payments, you have to have 12 months of consistent payments. After that 12 months, so now we're talking about year two, Starting at year two to year five, there's a possibility that you could still get a mortgage. Okay, let me explain. Uh, we still have to run you through uh, Fannie Mae's automated system or Freddie Mac's automated system. It has to come back approved eligible, uh, but you have to have a history of making those 12 payments uh, consistently within that umbrella of five years of chapter 13. Uh, very important. Most people just lump it together with chapter seven. Sorry, we can't help you. We, you know, like we still have to wait another year. It's not true. You can get a loan. We just got one a couple of months ago for a client. Um, and basically they were in it for about two years and they had a history of making payments for at least 12 months. It's actually two years plus, And they were able to get a loan. Most people don't understand that, uh, you know, if you get a bankruptcy, if it's chapter seven or chapter 13, it's the same and they throw a blanket over. It's not the case. So very, very important. With conventional, it's a little bit different. Actually, I'm sorry. Let me, let me finish off with the government. Let's just say FHA. Now let's say five years comes and now after five years, now you want to get a mortgage. Okay. This is where, Hey Diane, this is where the information is very important. Okay. If you had a chance to get a loan or get a mortgage inside that 13 before the five years, that's your window of opportunity. Once that five years is over, you got to wait two years after five years is over two years then try to get a mortgage, okay? It's two years after you come out of that chapter 13. Uh, very important because a lot of people just think, hey, I just have to wait till it's over, then I can apply for it because I'm beyond the year. It's not the case. So it goes by discharge date, okay? At that point, very, very, very important. It's different than chapter seven. I'll talk about chapter seven some other time, but 13 is different than that. Now, if you're going conventional, different ball game. A lot of times, like, you know, like you're going to have to wait until the five years is up and then wait two years after that, okay? Some, you know, from discharge, if it is dismissal, you gotta wait 48 months. Okay, so there's a lot of ins and outs that, that you have to be careful of going through all that stuff so you can kinda uh, make sure you game plan it all right. But if you're in chapter 13 and you've been there for a year and now you're going on to your second year and you made payments on time, uh, then, then there's a good shot for you to, to get a mortgage. Obviously, everything's got to fall into place, employment, credit, everything else on that part. And the reason why they have that, going back to the two years, let's say you, you're done with the five years, now you have to wait another two years because you're in that umbrella of uh, ordered pretty much by a judge saying that you have to make these payments, okay? Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac want, want to see you after that. Now you've got the freedom. There's no court order that you have to pay this. How are you going to do on your own at that point? That's why it takes two years after the five years is up. So hopefully that makes sense. If you got any questions, comment down below. Shoot me a private message or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great, great afternoon. I'll talk to you soon.